Tonight's weather is brought to you by Gold Sky Herbicide. Targets the toughest grasses and broadleaf weeds and wheat. Good evening. Well, the nicest part of the day in terms of sunshine was probably when most of you were asleep. In fact, here is the time lapse from sunrise this morning. It was really nice. We had some sunshine peeking out through some high, thin clouds here. And then the late morning, early afternoon rolled around and clouds started to thicken up. It's basically where we were for the rest of the day, just kind of a gray overcast, kind of a gloomy and cool winter day. And there's even a uh, winter day, spring day, but it felt a little more like winter there. In fact, there's even a little light snow coming out of the clouds for really much of the day. Now, a lot of this did not make it to the surface as it was very dry there, but notice off to the north and west, this extends pretty far well back into even Saskatchewan, just north of Regina here. So this will continue to kind of stream into the northern half of the region overnight. A chance we can catch an odd flurry or two, but really not going to be a whole lot. In fact, it's this little uh, band of precip now just to the west of that around the Alberta-Saskatchewan border that will continue to pick up steam and eventually make its way into likely the southern half of the region tomorrow and I think that's going to be our best chance at seeing a little bit of precipitation and maybe even some accumulating snowfall for parts of the region so let's go to our future cast here doing a good job clouds pretty much plastered right overhead and here's this little narrow band of snow that will likely try to work its way in overnight uh, into the early morning hours again I'm not expecting a lot of this to reach the ground we might not even be dealing with any precipitation when you wake up for tomorrow and on your way to church it's not really until the afternoon I think this next little band of snow comes up mainly in the southern half of the region. So right around and along you, uh, I-94 here into north uh, west central Minnesota, I should say. And this will quickly move through the east here through the afternoon hours. So it's not going to be an all-day event. I think just for a couple hours tomorrow in the afternoon, we'd likely be dealing with a little bit of light snow. But really up to the north, it's not going to be a whole lot through the day. Although there's another little band, I think it's some light snow that will drop through, mainly around the northwest Minnesota uh, region here, Lake of the Woods, late tomorrow night into Monday with another chance for a little bit of light snow. So kind of just these more nickel and dime events, but a little bit more active. So in terms of snow, uh, I think pretty much just less than an inch in most spots, although from the Fargo area down to the south and east into Minnesota, there's the chance maybe around an inch or even a little bit more in some spots. And I think the further south you go, the better chance for some couple inches of snow. In fact, there's even a winter weather advisory in effect for Minneapolis tomorrow, maybe up to three to six inches of snow. So if you're heading... Uh, east on I-94 through the day tomorrow, something to certainly keep an eye on there. Now, certainly cool temperatures across the region today, just 21 in Grand Forks, 28 in Fargo, certainly well below our average for the first full day of spring, and really not going to be doing a whole lot better tomorrow. Now, fortunately, the really warm air is well off to the south and west, yeah, showing this just to be mean here. 76 was the high in Valentine, South Dakota. 67 in Rapid City, but again, I think these cooler temperatures are going to really remain over our region for much of the next several days here. So current temps really have not dropped off much at all. In fact, 21 is the current temp and the high temp in Grand Forks, still 27 in Fargo with the clouds overhead. We're really not going to see those temperatures drop off more than a few degrees overnight, so that is good for those temps tomorrow. Wind relatively light out of the east-northeast, which is that dry direction. That's the reason a lot of that snow that was falling out of those clouds today did not make it to the surface. So official numbers then, 14 and 28 in Fargo, 7 and 21 in Grand Forks. No precip to talk about it. Again, maybe an odd flurry overnight tonight, so don't be surprised if you do see that. I think it'll mainly just be a cloudy night. Temperatures dropping around 24 in Fargo tomorrow morning. Teens up north. 17 in Grand Forks. Northeast wind continues at 5 to 15 miles an hour. And the best chance for some light snow, again, along and south of I-94, and maybe up to an inch or two in some spots as well. Temperature-wise, pretty much similar to today, I think. Maybe a little bit warmer, 31 in Fargo, 32 in Grand Forks. Light wind out of the east at 5 to 15 miles an hour. So another little shot of snow coming in again, northwest Minnesota tomorrow night. A little break in the action on Monday. Temperatures baby back up into the 40s, but then... Our attention turns to Tuesday and Wednesday, what looks to be a fairly significant-looking system. Now, the only question is, will it be rain or snow or a little bit of both? So something we're going to keep an eye on for you, but only fitting, I guess, right? Winter was so quiet, and now we we're in the spring. We knew it was coming yeah, at some point. Better, well, I'm not going to say better late than ever, but unfortunately, better late than ever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Yeah.